residents in one Hollywood neighborhood say they no longer feel safe after an encampment went up along Sunset a couple of years ago. And they say efforts to clean it up have been unsuccessful. Live at Newsboro, Josh Haskell has more. I look at my car every single morning to see if it's been broken into today. To many, this may look like another homeless encampment in the city of Los Angeles. But to those who live in the Hollywood neighborhood that surrounds the tents near Sunset Boulevard and Martell, the encampment has rocked their sense of security for 17 months. We've had tons of break-ins. Our garage has been broken into five times. Cars are vandalized. Mail is stolen. Our building, the building across the street, the building across the street, that way, there's just rampant crime. And and I actually had my sister-in-law come to visit for the first time and she parked across the street, broad daylight, and within 30 seconds, someone from the homeless encampment was down swinging a club at her. The violence is escalating and we keep asking the city council, what is it going to take? Do we need to wait till someone's murdered? The encampment is located at 7323 Sunset and surrounds an AT&T building. It's located in Councilwoman Nithya Raman's district, who who toured the encampment one year ago, joined by residents including Terry Shalin. She promised, she said that she will be adamantly enforcing ADA compliance, that it's uh, the position that she is looking into where to set a safe camping location for uh, the campers never happened. In August, 4118, an ordinance passed, and we were very hopeful because finally we thought that they would have some tools at their disposal. But the city councilwoman is only enforcing a part of that ordinance, which is the Care Plus Cleanup Program. However, she's only doing it when she feels like enforcing it, which is three times in 17 months. The encampment was cleaned on Thursday, but the residents told us every time the encampment is cleaned, the unhoused return in the next 24 to 48 hours, which we saw happen Friday. Residents say allowing the tents to return isn't humane. It used to be a wonderful place, and now it's a garbage heap. I mean, I think that the homeless look at the cleanup as though it's their personal maid service. Councilman Rahman's office tells me that yesterday's cleanup moved three residents of this encampment to housing and that 43 Hollywood residents of encampments have now been moved indoors. District 4 also says that they plan to move the remaining homeless at this encampment indoors once the beds become available. In Hollywood, Josh Haskell, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.